Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the world. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. So it's down to business here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? I'm going to go for Antonio Candreva because he brings a dynamism to proceedings fast and do. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. The ref's been lenient here, and I doubt he'll get too many more chances. He's gone for goal! A loose ball. Dzeko absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. Yoshida. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And it's Dzeko. Back into the middle. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Barrera shakes the shoot. A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in then. And I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. Perisic. And here's Dzeko. Dzeko showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. As he found his man, Chalhanolu. Keeper's got good distance on that. Going through, and Martinez! Goal! Inter! And Inter go in front. Oh, look, the keeper didn't know whether he was coming or going in the end, and he just got lost. Into Milan, get themselves into the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Yoshida. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Forward it goes. Perisic. And Treva sticks in a foot to win it back. And now the breakaway. He's got away. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Chalanolu looks to dink one in.
Dzeko. Hoists it high. Now can he... Dzeko hits it! He scores! All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Things starting to look very comfortable. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Yoshida positions himself well and cuts it out. Jekko, Martin, and the shot! And it's there! And already they're looking to run away with it. That was easy, almost too easy. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Chalanolu tries lifting it over, swung over, carries far too far and out of play. Yoshida. There's the whistle for half-time. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. <laughs> this looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Inter Milan are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. So we're already into the second period. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Has a pop! They've done it! Surely now they are well and truly out of sight. Terrible error, duly punished. He snuffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Chalhanolu. Chalhanolu. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. And they win it back again. Now it's Quagliarella. Tonelli is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Well, this it shapes to shoot! Out to the right. Kandreva. And here's a corner, good chance. Defence can get it clear. Big chance!
Bastoni tries to clear. He has it out wide now. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. And it's Keita. Yoshida. And the weighted pass. Going for goal! And he couldn't keep it down. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Yoshida tries to get it forward quickly. Has gone out. Shelhanolu. Barrera. That was good pressing. Forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Chalanolu battles to win it back. Chalanolu drives it forward. All the way back and they start again. Tonelli. Sampdoria can admit to being second best so far. They've not looked together enough and concentration levels are well down on the standard we expect. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Quali Quali runner hits it! He's kept it out, that's a great save. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? <laughs> There's the shot! Correa gets good distance on it. Brozovic, Chalhanolu, Stefan de Vrij, hoists it forward, had too much on it. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Ektal takes the long option. Brozovic. And the referee brings it to a close. Sabdoria, well beaten. There's no spinning this result. It could have been a whole lot worse. Your final thoughts, Jim? One-sided and only one winner, Peter. The players didn't show enough togetherness and it was weak throughout. Well, that's